Hey guys, before I mention the piles, I just wanted to say a really big thank you to Steven for the donation you sent. I was shook. It was really, really, really kind of you and um, I'm super grateful and I'm really grateful for everyone who's booked a reading and the feedback you guys have been giving. Um, yeah, it's just, I'm sorry if I don't always reply. I do get a little bit busy, but thank you. So there are seven piles. Um, top left corner, pile one. Top right corner will be pile four, jumping to the second row. Bottom left corner, pile five. Two spaces down, we have pile seven. And um, yeah, you guys can take some time right now to pick timestamps. We'll be down below again. Thank you to everyone, all my subscribers. <laughs> I just wanted to give a little message and that is all. Hello pile one, welcome to your reading. Now you guys are gonna wanna stab me because I'm gonna tell you a huge part of your blessing is healing. And the thing about temperance is the when you're in this mode of temperance, you so graciously get your blessings, but it takes patience and healing and, and balancing of self. And that's a really beautiful thing because you're energetically aligning yourself to abundance the page of swords is like this new sense of balance is um bringing out new ideas right new curiosities because you've let something end and let it really finish and you're not out here energetically giving to something that's over okay um then we have aquarius in the second house this is more of that air energy now you're looking at what you value in a very authentic way and by that i mean who values you authentically not in that fake superficial way not in that um not from a place of codependency but who makes you feel free um and also what makes you feel free what makes you feel like yourself and um even greater than yourself uh it's it's i feel like you're really breaking free this has caused you to to see things clearly to see yourself clearly because we have aquarius in the third house so even the way you're communicating and i'm, I'm seeing you become so much more self-sufficient a lot more independent and doing things that really ring true to your soul which make you feel good which make you feel alive new moon and aquarius this is a very innovative energy i feel like you're gonna have a lot of great ideas in regards to building abundance because again you're actually doing something that's either unique or authentic is the main message here you're doing something that's true to you and that's why you're gonna be good at it and you're not forcing things you um, are really going to start to notice as soon as you stop fighting for things not working on things consistently working sure um, but really nurturing yourself things are coming to you a lot more quickly people forget that a huge part of manifestation is being patient understanding enjoying the journey if you're not enjoying the journey then it's like it's just gonna take longer to get there type of thing and um a huge part of manifestation is yes being in your yang you know taking action putting the idea out there but not constantly taking action where can you take less action and 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 create a better product or create something better than versus tirelessly doing the same thing or forcing or fighting for things it's about regrouping it's about really loving yourself and enjoying yourself when we talk about nurturing ourselves it's supposed to feel good and you feeling good again is attracting is going to attract more abundance for you it's going to be a journey to get to this king of pentacles moment but i see you headed there because i'm sensing there's going to be more success coming your way so that is another uh blessing coming for this pile through this healing process right through this purification process of detoxing from what's what's not good for you who's not good for you it's time to let go some of you are leaving certain a career you were following some of you this was a connection right or whatever made you feel um not like yourself and not appreciated for who you were basically snake spirit time to heal set healthy boundaries so 
for a lot of you this is about you're going to be setting healthy boundaries with other people and in turn claiming back um, your power also setting healthy boundaries with yourself what is acceptable for me to do and not deep down really knowing and facing these truths basically um, and i feel like you're not going to be overly disciplined with yourself but i do sense you are going to um you're going to start doing more of what you love not maybe in the most structured way but still still um moving towards creating some type of boundary with yourself where you're doing more and ultimately leading to success again in that very aquarian way the way we're ta the way we were talking about water your garden which is exactly what you're doing right we were talking about that that has a lot to do with being in your yin energy and uh breath of the cosmos micromanaging the universe letting go of control so for those of you who you know had an issue with the connection i see this person getting their justice because we have someone who was left out with the wolves and this was you right maybe you were innocent and naive and got taken advantage of but i see you guys getting your karmic retribution there i see you getting your justice and learning all that glitters is in gold and really learning to love what's real so you can be dealing with capricorn 10th house placements taurus second house i'm getting strong aquarius um air sign placements but especially aquarius and gemini Ooh, and Libra too, actually, Justice. We have Earth sign on the bottom of the deck. And we also have Virgo. So this can be in your chart, chart of anybody you're dealing with. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to book a more in-depth reading, you can do that down below. Otherwise, that's all, guys. Take care. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. So first card we have is The Fool then we have the ten of pentacles and now don't get mad at me we have the three of swords and i'll get to your oracle in a minute as well so why don't we get this over with you guys may be going through some sort of heartache some sort of pain or you may feel like you've been stuck in this not very comfortable cycle or it may be coming soon but i do feel like a lot of you may be going through this what this is gonna do though is it's it's we, we were talking about cycles and what i see this as is a whole new cycle a whole new beginning for you sometimes when that final you know nail is just hammered down that third sword is struck in it's like you can't really take any more and then you realize okay it's time for something new it's time to try something else and we have the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck this to me is mental clarity and strength um and this is evident you know with the fool jumping into new beginnings you're going to start to feel more carefree and what's coming up really really strong in your reading we have sun in the fifth house now fifth house is leo's house sun rules leo so these two actually belong together very very nicely this to me is speaking about a major uh sense or regain of confidence maybe you used to feel really confident about yourself or you know you can attract attention maybe not either way whether you were that life of the party person i feel like a lot of you were even if you weren't what i'm seeing this what this represents to me is a regaining of confidence and and more so a regaining of your inner child so whatever um whatever you dreamt of being very fearlessly as a child i see you stepping more into that energy a little bit more more fearless or a more go with the flow energy and this is going to open up so many doors because you're there's going to be a huge energetic shift here with you the thing is guys it's going to be like this steady shift it's a steady building right you keep you're going to be tending to the small things mouse spirits so the more you're kind of taking care of yourself taking care of these little side projects taking care of something here something there you're starting to feel better you're starting to feel good you're starting to feel more like yourself and you're finding pleasure in these small things and these small things suddenly are going to 
it literally says blessings and we have what blessings are coming your way this is a huge sign to me that blessings are going to be coming you're going to look back and be like oh i'm finally getting what i'm deserving of and this is because majorly you've showed the universe i am worth something the universe talks to you how you talk to yourself so when you show energetically i am worth something okay i'm gonna show you that i'm gonna pour my love into myself you are good enough full moon in virgo these blessings start to pour into your life adjustments are required so it's going to be a build right you might recognize hmm, this isn't working or as you're healing oh this is kind of more difficult for me to do so there are going to be adjustments but the more you step out of your comfort zone the um the more you're gonna attract and i see you guys moving forward and bringing this major shift for a lot of you if you have any type of investment you're making that's gonna majorly pay off some of you are gonna be making some sort of investments okay and whatever you're gonna invest into it's gonna pay off and bring a lot of stability into your life um this is funny we have watch and wait i'm almost getting spirit is like winking at you guys and being like just watch and wait watch and wait what we'll do it's you know um again the more you move forward the more is uh the more blessings that are going to pour into your life pave a new path be the leader you wish you had yeah instead of you're going to stop sitting and waiting and hoping for things to change and you guys are going to really start taking control of yourselves you're going to start to feel more connected to where you are feeling like you're at the right place um in the right time inner earth you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings so once you start to let go of this heartache and 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 pain and jump into the new the more solutions end up coming into your life and helping you out of this this pain and transmission activation so just being super oh look how pretty it is the sun hitting the card um feeling super super activated during this time it's like a wake-up call and you're gonna start to feel really connected to source and the universe as the universe is working with you so um you can be dealing with what do we have here virgo placements i have strong leo and sun we also have moon and cancer placements sagittarius on the bottom of the deck and sagittarius again on the bottom of the decks and taurus and libra so this can be in your chart the chart of anyone you guys are dealing with thank you so much for watching if you would like to book a more in-depth reading for six dollars i have my information down below otherwise that is all take care hello pile three thank you so much for being here so let's start off with your tarot we have the four of cups we have the knight of swords and we have the four pentacles and i'll get into your oracle in a second as well now guys i'm seeing that things are really going to speed up for you with the knight of swords and i know you've been very very <laughs> discontent because maybe there's not been enough adventure or communication from the person you want for a lot of you i actually see you getting communication from a certain person but there's a little but with all the, this this blessing of life speeding up and um this mental clarity you're also going to get which is stepping out of your comfort zone i see you slowly but gradually doing this because we do have leadership but that four of pentacles is indicating to me you holding yourself back a little because we have the south node in the 10th house 10th house is career opposite opposite the 10th house is the fourth house this is going to sound really weird so that would mean the north node is in the fourth house of your home meaning you're moving closer and closer towards your home and your safety net and what we're being called to do is step out of that the sooner you um there's so much waiting for you you guys have no no clue regeneration you're getting a second chance and something a lot of you want a second chance with something some some dream you've been wanting to come true that second chance is coming regeneration is talking about something being regenerated again i am getting for some of you guys communication with someone and it looks like what you've been doing is you've been looking into the future that you don't even know is going to happen and like being upset over it 
a future that you don't even know exists yet and so it's like you don't need to do that to yourself you don't have to search and look out and be like oh my god my life is just i know it's not gonna work out you will be surprised by how many things actually are going to work out luck is on your side this is a card that speaks about expansion growth there's a lot of opportunities waiting for you there's a lot of excitement and fun to be had that's major sagittarius energy um the more carefree you can kind of be you'll start to see these second chances coming and um whatever you you had been through it's actually given you a lot of insight and wisdom you see clearly now and um I am getting for some of you guys, right, especially with the connection, if someone comes around, don't let pride get in the way. Just hear hear them out. I know this is a general reading, but I am feeling called to say that. Even otherwise, I'm hearing don't let, don't let pride get in your way because do you want to know what's waiting outside of your comfort zone? King of Cups, bottom of the deck, love and abundance. So it's, it's all about stepping out of the comfort zone. Um, again a lot of second chances justice i see you guys getting some type of karmic retribution okay from what you've been through and th the effort you're gonna put in I, a lot of you are gonna be taking i see um, this stance of leadership of stepping out and the beautiful thing about tarot is it's all it can change in an instance you can hear this message and be like oh that's th how simple it is i'm gonna start right now and the blessing is yours you just have to claim it basically and come to the edge i see you taking more risks and stepping out of this this is where i'm safe this is where i can't get hurt which you will really soon learn that's not true you will see clearly um neptune so i think a lot of you have been searching for love neptune is a very romantic um it's 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 all about those big dreams we have whatever makes us feel like we're in the clouds not so connected to earth i see we have it in the fifth house so i do see this happening but with the south node here it does feel like it does feel like guys the best way to do this is to first detach a little bit and have fun because the south node is there also in the fifth house so if you want to look to how to get out of feeling like you're go going backwards look outwards and you'll see opposite fifth house is 11th house that's the house of following your dreams and aspirations and friendships and i see there's so much human connection out there for you so, like there's there's just stuff and the more you can as soon as you decide i'm not gonna let anything stop me nothing is going to stop you um that is what i am seeing i also see you um stripping anything that's not authentic because the south node is a very spiritual node so i see you really looking towards what is authentic what truly makes me happy and taking action um towards these things instead of letting your pride get in the way from you having what you truly desire so you can be dealing with Sagittarius and Gemini placements. We have Neptune, Pisces, 10th house, Capricorn, 5th house, Leo, water sign on the bottom of the deck. Um, Leo coming up strong, bottom of the deck. And we also have 6th house, Virgo. This can be in your chart or the chart of anyone you're dealing with. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to book a more in-depth reading for $6, my information's down below. Otherwise, it's all. Take care. Hello, Pile 4. Welcome to your reading. So I'm going to start off with your tarot. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Nine... Oh, that almost fell. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And we also have the Four of Swords. And I'll get into your Oracle in a second as well. There is a lot of expansion and growth that is about to happen. I do see you guys releasing chaos and conflict in your life. Um, sometimes people can get, get very swept away in chaos and conflict and not know how to deal with it. But what I see happening here is you making good choices. Three of Wands is all about good choices. We want the Three of Wands. This is about expansion. This is about taking good risks. Just good movement forward. Uh, I am seeing with Standstill and the Four of Swords that you are taking a break 
from the chaos if it's not working you're like i'm going to take some space and time away to recuperate this chaos believe it ooh, believe it or not is a good thing because sometimes we have to see even though we may feel like the chaos is someone else's fault or the universe is working against us we then have to are forced to see what choices can we make that are going to fix this for a lot of you guys that has to do with releasing time to let go letting go of grudges letting go of entertaining this chaos being involved in it when it's just negatively impacting your life and realizing you know what wait i'm worth way more and realizing that worth is going to lead to financial independence i see a lot more mental stability um, i see an improvement in finances guys yes adjustments are required but this is good because you are looking at these adjustments you're actually realizing oh yeah this isn't working i'm going to try something else and it is going to lead to that prosperity um yeah even this this zebra it's shedding skin because it doesn't it doesn't fit with who it authentically is and it's that same thing where you're stripping away what's not working what's not allowing you to move forward this chaos is is a wake-up call and for you to see um your actions and really look at the actions of other people for some of you maybe this is related to career maybe you're like oh my god stuff just has not been working out and you're starting to see okay this isn't working out what can i do and these good calculated risks risks sorry or movement forward it's gonna really really work for you and i see you finally getting some rest a break finally getting a break that you really really need um we have the ace of cups and the hierophant in the bottom of the deck that's really beautiful new emotional beginnings due to you um implementing some sort of order or structure maybe taking a course um maybe joining a new group or just the overall idea of structure in your life um we also have abundance on the bottom of the deck which is really nice to see as well children some of you may get to spend more time with your children or you're tuning more into your inner child i feel like you've strayed really far from that energy and now you're going to be in a place of of expressing more right three is a very very creative number expressing what it is you want to create and taking those actions to build the life that you want to make we have virgo coming up very very strong this to me is talking about you working really really hard working on yourself sixth house is our daily routines and health so i see both of these things taking better care of yourself and being very very focused <clears throat> one thing about this pile i feel like some of you guys are the type of people that like to really evaluate your pain you're like i feel this way because of this and i feel this way like you like to psychologically maybe analyze a lot and what i'm seeing is that's that's good that shows yourself aware but it's also okay to feel those emotions as well you know even though you've analyzed it and you're like wow i've analyzed it but it's still it still kind of hurts um it's okay that it hurts because with laughing and crying what i'm seeing here is you can cry and you can let it out and you can still have that vision and i see you know i see sunshine i see light i see yellow I see a lighter energy coming for you and once you're letting out those emotions which I see you will this is gonna continue and help and aid you so know that's okay and know you're allowed to feel whatever it is you're feeling Virgo in the eighth I feel like you're gonna be getting help right in terms of your finances eighth house is other people's resources you will look at and finally start to understand what adjustments are are required to make these changes happen but i see them happening but you're gonna have to let go of something and i see you finally being okay with letting go or at least understanding it's what's necessary so you can be dealing with virgo sixth house placements we also have eighth house scorpio um taurus placements Aries placements and we also have Uranus Aquarius on the bottom of the deck 
this can be in your chart chart of anyone you guys are dealing with thank you so much for watching if you would like to book a more in-depth reading i have my info down below otherwise that's all guys take care hello pile five welcome to your reading so i am getting a really strong love message i will give a more general message for this reading too we've got the queen of cups we also have the five of swords and we have the page of cups this feels like you've had conflict with someone and now they're coming back around because we have mercury which is a planet of communication in the house of communication we also have eighth house secrets it looks like this person's true feelings are coming to light they may like present it more low-key or more shy in the way they're showing it this can also just indicate you starting to realize they actually do love you and they do care like you can tell energetically um through what they're posting online for a lot of you right communication so this can be direct communication or indirect communication either way you're suddenly like oh okay this person does care and i see you releasing a lot of grudges um if you felt really oversensitive about what this person thought not so much anymore because you realize they care and that's allowing you with show the world the real you full moon in aquarius to detach more to feel more like yourself to feel like you can pour your love if you wish into this person exchanging gifts i do see an opportunity here right for some level of exchange whether that's energetically or this person coming up to you which for some of you guys they are going to be and being like hey actually i you know do you want to hang out whatever they might say right because we have the page of swords which can be a little bit you know it's a younger energy they, they might not have the most like grand gesture or approach or most solid offer right away at least um but i just see like this is like you're you're loving yourself right you've the reason why you've even attracted this person is because of how much you've been loving yourself you because you started to see your own potential or you're going to be seeing your own potential you're like oh my god i could do this and i feel like doing this and you are starting to see all these stars and galaxies within yourself and so is this person for a more general message i am seeing some type of conflict or feeling like you've been battling with either a work situation trying to succeed in something or conflict otherwise and you're taking all this energy and putting it into your creative your creative endeavors okay or communicating this deep trauma eighth house into into new ideas transforming it somehow right three of pentacles in the bottom of the deck as well into your work or creation so that's a little side message so both of these messages can apply okay because we do have the golden children inner child tenderness innocence rare rare gifts the golden children is like who we want to be we don't ever want to lose this this is like all the magic you can create in life being able to manifest being able to like create amazing stuff because you haven't lost that ability that 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 inner child you still love life i see you loving life more i see just oh, so much self-love below the three of pentacles we have the empress and the world so that's really beautiful that talks about like a beautiful completion of uh, cycles this talks about success to me this is greatly speaking upon your self-worth pink bubble fairy everything you touch um turns to pink bubbles or turns to gold okay it's the idea of like you're waving your little wand around and making like i don't know stuff is just you're gonna think to yourself I, stuff feels easier i feel like i can attract stuff into my life more easily um giraffe spirit see the bigger picture absolutely you're looking like the little things maybe you worried about you're you're so much shifting from that energy and seeing such a higher perspective being so connected to source this is where it's all coming from as well right being connected to source god the universe whatever you believe in realizing realizing there's a you have there's a plan for you and you've been embarking on this in between the worlds or in between worlds feeling very very connected to the higher realms like feeling like you're getting all these downloads that you can actually connect to apply in your understanding time to decide make a decision based on your heart's true desires you're like ready to follow your heart 
and you're going to have some choices to be made there's opportunities um, coming here whatever is going to happen you guys are ready for it finally you're coming to a place where you're so so ready you're like the, you've a lot of confidence inner confidence just nurturing of self um so much creativity bubbling here you're ready to take on life a lot more so this is a really really beautiful reading a little bit different than the other ones we've had um I see you can be dealing with Aquarius or Cancer placements. We have very strong water sign, especially Cancer and Scorpio. We also have very strong Gemini. Uh, Virgo is coming up here. I'm getting Taurus, Libra coming up. We also have Capricorn placements. And give me a sec. Pisces. So this can be in your chart, chart of anyone you guys are dealing with. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to book a more in-depth reading for $6, I have my info down below. Otherwise, that's all guys. Take care. Hello, Pile 6. Welcome to your reading. This is super, super powerful. So I'll start over here with the King of Swords. You've definitely accumulated a lot of wisdom from everything you've been through. And you're not here or you're not going to be out here making little moves you're thinking very very smart some people take what they've been through and decide to just not take advantage and you're taking advantage of this you've come to a place of more strength and what i'm seeing is you're slowly but steadily building your empire but like not with resistance so i know i said slowly and that may sound disappointing but the success is just coming and you just keep moving forward because we have the north node which is talking about following your purpose and we have the world which talks about completing a cycle it also talks about success so i'm seeing you're really really leveling up and this is going to bring in more abundance for you pink bubble fairy we have this come up in the last pile too but this pile is again some piles i was sensing uh stuff holding them back you're gonna step into a time where there's nothing holding you back i'm really emphasizing this because you may already be sensing this energy but it feels like you might be right now in this place where you're pulling back that arrow and once you let it go it's just gonna shoot forward some of you are already on this journey and following this momentum basically um i say this because we have stag spirit take the lead and we have leadership this is the card that comes up on the deck and it's there for a reason because it has like this very strong energy of authority um you're gonna be making moves in your life not little ones you're gonna tr i see you thinking bigger um because aquarius is genius okay aquarius looks at the bigger picture um it's very good at taking a bunch of ideas and it all comes together in their head and it just works and you're not afraid to transform with scorpio coming up what i'm seeing is you're getting back power from what you're doing from being noticed from confident yeah new moon and leo definitely from being noticed and recognized from what it is you're doing i do see you guys are healing suppression of a star being by hands unworthy but this came up in the past position which is good because you're taking this these little bits of information i'm getting what you where you're coming from you're coming from like this underdog place and it's like it's it feels like one of those stories where it's those people who are the underdog and they don't let it stop them. It's like you're transforming so much and it's really, really exciting. Um, what else do we have here? The sword, king of swords. That basically means like you're coming up as this king, a leader. Um, this intellect you have, this knowledge, this power you yield in your hands you are actually using right you're using to attain the world to attain everything you want page of swords is indicating to me being curious being excited again having lots of good ideas you know inspired being inspired especially some of you with the page of swords coming up might still be in that phase where you're holding yourself back a little but i i see you not doing that anymore 
um, a lot of transformation. You're going to be really full moon in Taurus, really working on both manifesting your goals, but practically working on them and having patience and understanding. You can see the end goal, the end game. You're not you're not going to be worried. You're going to be releasing more of your worries. We have no need to worry coming up. So that's just another signal up. There's nothing to worry about. You're going to be good. Uh, Seven of Wands, Queen of Wands, Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck, which is really beautiful because you're fighting for the place you first of all have come in your life. You've come so far. You're not letting uh, yourself fall down and I see you just creating more success and you're going to keep defending it you're like this is my territory I'm not letting this fall extremely confident um and getting more success recognition being well liked feeling so good about yourself okay so you can be dealing with air sign placements we have fixed sign Aquarius Scorpio Taurus Leo we have Sagittarius coming up air sign coming up very strong especially Aquarius um, we also have Scorpio and Leo coming up strong Taurus on the bottom of the deck and Taurus coming up again and also Libra so this can be in your chart it can be in the chart of anyone you guys are dealing with thank you so much for watching if you want to book a more in-depth reading for six dollars my information's down below otherwise that's all guys take care hello pal eight welcome to your reading this one is super interesting we have the three of pentacles the four of wands and the king of oh god that card almost fell and the king of cups i'll get into your oracle in a second too it feels like you're gonna realize okay some of you are gonna have new love coming in some of you this is gonna be old love so i'm gonna give you two scenarios if this is old love <laughs> the gag here is going to be that you guys with girl talk here happily single moving on are like I don't know if I need you or want you anymore. Some of you guys are going to be taking this person. Some of you are not. I will give some words of caution though. Because with the Grim Reaper, which talks about no more second chances. Like, you know, when someone crosses the line too much. Keys on a ring. Someone made you an option. I feel like for some of you guys, if this person three of pentacles third party situation made you an option, be cautious. Because I do sense this could be someone quite negative for you. Um you have free will but those are some <laughs> words of caution again either way the self-love you have given yourself has created or is going to create a huge transformation butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful this person sure is going to think you're beautiful they look at you and they're in awe and they should be you did all the work you needed to and i personally think it's unfair for people to come around once once you've had to do the hard work you know and they weren't again all i know every situation is different so take this however it resonates for those of you um it's going to be new love okay um i see you releasing old connections just negativity um whatever has been holding you back from your transformation i see you believing in yourself okay you're like you know what i deserve more and um just abundance is falling into your lap buffalo spirit the abundant universe will provide suddenly like i see blessings in finances career i see you building a better foundation for yourself three of pentacles right getting recognition really working on your thing loving it doing it well four of wands is about celebration from hard work right some type of success overall just it, this is it just feels so good i just see you as um not in the process of being in the cocoon like really being that butterfly really really flourishing observer you you decided you're gonna decide to like not emotionally detach from your problems but take a step back and be like okay i need to look at this from a different point of view because i am taking realizing because our personal problems are personal <laughs> we take them personally that we cannot see it from a standpoint that might actually benefit us if we can step away you you're gonna realize no one is you but yours and how beautiful it is to pour all your love into yourself and be at that vibration you wanted that person to be you wanted to pour that love to raise that person's vibration you couldn't right and some of you you're gonna realize they don't match um they might not match you 
again love is coming this is mainly self-love that is attracting love and whatever your situation is and how you want to deal with it is up to you for others of you this is new love which um has potential for new love i see to go the distance but this is a very like um this to me is a very personal accomplishment go the distance you are like this cheetah and if you feel like the people you're attracting can keep up with you then look for signs for that okay um but you you have this beautiful you're gonna have this beautiful stamina going and you can just go 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 it's like you're not stopping it's very very exciting like you're you're flourishing so much star that can't be caught suddenly you are rising you are shining you are crushing um crushing your goals i feel for sure taking the pace you need to take to accomplish those things because go the distance is like talks about how it's not um it's not a sprint right but because you're believing in yourself so much putting in the effort suddenly you're seeing how much the universe provides when you provide for yourself um and it's a really really beautiful process here guys we did have look for a sign so that to me is just saying for your own situation look for signs okay did, did, can you trust the person that's coming in um this isn't meant to be a negative reading it's meant to be really really positive we have love after all so much negativity being released and purged virgo in the seventh house is like people suddenly want to give to you right virgo the giving sign in your house of relationships now people want to do stuff for you um we also have the eighth house so this is talking about deep transformation in you giving to yourself i see so yes what else do we have you can be dealing with 10th house capricorn look at the bottom of the deck queen of swords eight of pentacles ten of swords that ending that happened it got you back in the game and you know you were able to use your mind rationally and sometimes using your mind rationally actually ends up leading to um emotionally fulfilling yourself right the queen of swords can lead to emotional fulfillment and look below that ten of so ten of wands eight of swords tower some of you guys really went through it with someone okay i can definitely see that so you can be dealing with uh eighth house placements and again um for whoever comes in, I'm just going to say, um, this is general reading, so intuitively, what you f if you feel, you know, you want to let this person in or not, it's going to be all up to you. We did have some signs, but it's just a general reading, so you can be dealing with 8th house Scorpio placements, 7th house Libra placements, Virgo placements, uh, Scorpio coming up again. We also have, let's see... I think I said air sign already. Um, I think I said Capricorn 10th house and also Aries. So it can be in your chart, chart of anyone you guys are dealing with. Thank you so much. Oh, the clouds are so pretty outside. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to book a more in-depth reading, I have my info down below. Otherwise, that's all guys. Take care.